This is not how I envisioned elk season starting. We hiked 10 miles already today looking for elk and didn't hear a single bugle. Got back to the truck and there was a note telling us we bugle too much. And now we're parked at the end of a dead end road. Five miles away from camp and we have a dead battery. So it's going to be a long walk to camp and a late night. <laughs> uh, we have a minor setback this morning. Made a little quick hunt this morning trying to fight a bulldoze bugle, which we didn't. We got back to the truck and going to fire it up. And guess what? Plagued by the dead battery again. We replaced the cables yesterday. I think the high quality battery is just toast. So now we walk again, but not towards bugling bulls, but towards a jump start. Awesome. <laughs> you gotta laugh or you'd be pissed off. And I got a blister. Not horrible yet, but it hurts. Holy cow. Don't be looking at my climb trees, can't you? <laughs> Why are you making fun of my beautiful toes? I left home because I only ever wanted to break free. Here I am alone, here I am alone, here I am alone. He doesn't give a damn if it's easy Call me on the phone, call me on the phone Call me on the phone, call me on the phone Oh, 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 oh So climb in the train Watch the window pane Steady bump as you travel through the rain Keep the change and then you wave your hands I Steady at the wheel, steady at the wheel Steady at the wheel hole And your feet Further than you've ever been before You poor, you poor, you poor, poor mother If she could see you now Hand steady at the wheel Hand steady at the wheel Hand steady at the wheel hole Steady at the wheel hole The best advice that I ever took Was taking it easy I guess I should've known Guess I should've known Guess I should've known So everybody kind of wants to start off their week of elk hunting on a positive note, get a bull on the ground and then just high fives and keep on going, but our elk hunt has been anything but that, uh, covering many, many drainages, not getting any bulls to bugle, uh, had a couple bugle but they didn't want to fight, um, haven't had any call-ins, uh, we've seen a wolf, we've got wolf tracks and bull tracks. And just the number of the elk are just not here. Um, we've relocated three times, and uh, hopefully the third time's a charm. Try a new area. Um, we're on plan C now, so we're just gonna keep on going down the line until we run out of letters in the alphabet, but we're not gonna get down because the best is yet to come. So I left home because I only ever wanted to break free. Here I am alone, here I am alone, here I am alone, alone, alone.
I had my pin right on him, just waiting for him to get broadside, and for whatever reason it went off, I pulled the trigger. I wasn't ready to, and I shouldn't have. And it was, it was a bad shot. Huh? Give him some time, we'll track him. I swear you work all year, shooting your bow, practicing. Bust our tails, this is what, day seven? First elk we've actually called in. Then go and make a stupid shot like that. No excuse for it. It's been almost two hours. And these waits after a shot, it seems like time just stands still. It's made worse when you know that you have a possibly poor shot, a definite poor shot. <laughs> Bow hunting's an amazing sport. You feel such a range of emotions. You dream about the adrenaline and the excitement of shooting a bull and watching it fall in front of you, and that's definitely a big part of it. But then there's also the other side, the frustration and guilt of a bad shot, and uncertainty of knowing. If you can find him, he died quickly, he's going to die. Mixed in still with that adrenaline and excitement. to explain, but it's time to, uh, to go and start tracking the bull and take it slow and quiet, pray for a little extra help that maybe help overcome where I fell short this morning, put a tag on a beautiful bull elk. seasons that fits that saying very good. This is day seven and this is our first legitimate call-in in seven days. 
just takes one. That's what he kept saying. It just takes one. This beauty of a bull was the one today. All right, so those guys made me walk back to town to get a battery. I didn't want to. They know how scared I am of walking alone. Everything. They forced me to do it. Well, I still love them and I'm still going to go and get a battery and maybe oh, finally I hit some pavement finally. I'll get there. I'm just trying to stay positive about it. It's kind of a battery joke, but there's no traffic on this road.